Greenland and we are going to get some actual work done today but the first thing we need to do is sell some fertilizer because the fertilizer production is actually backed up um, so I'm going to be skipping ahead into April soon and you will have seen from the thumbnail that we're going to have a little bit of fun today we're going to invest in some new kit and some new facilities um, and make a start on the mega field um, I'm saying um a lot but the mega field is going to be planted for maize again because we are not particularly flush with maize silage so need that done obviously we also have oh, I have realized that the clothes factory has run out of water so I've brought down everything we have up at the farm which wasn't that much and also as it's April it is now the uh, about the best price for clothes so um, I'm not going to sell them at the supermarket because I've had issues with that sell point so we're going to go to the sell everything point and we're looking at 17,700 pounds per thousand liters and we have quite a lot of disturbed hoodies at this point so I'm gonna faff about with the trailer a bit and we're gonna get these sorted a little trick that I found to speed up auto load um, I haven't found it at this point was that um, it's not really speeding up auto load, it's speeding up the production I found it takes seems to take quite a long time for pallets to spawn um, so I've actually sped all of this up. What I found is if you keep turning on and off auto load, the pallets seem to just continuously spawn. So that was that was kind of cool. It made it much quicker to load the second trailer full. So we have 40,000 liters of disturbed hoodies and uh, we're gonna get them sold. This is rather a huge amount of money. So, um, I'm actually losing track of it. I think it was, I think we were at 1.9 million, so about 700,000 pounds for that. Um, I've now got a little bit more on the trailer, so we've got 42,000 liters. So this is all of the clothes for now. And I think I managed to hit this in one go. So if we get it right, we will see that that was seven, no, eight hundred and twenty thousand pounds so yeah we are sitting on 3.4 million pounds now um just giving the new holland a little wash and then we're going to put that to work because the sugar beet field has uh cropped up some weeds so we're gonna do a little bit of weeding i can't remember if we did some hoeing or not um i know some of you do like a dirty hoe so actually going to use a bit of kit that I have some somewhat fond memories of kind of mi mixed memories actually um, so if I can find the weeder section in here there we go and that is the beastie um, why do I have mixed memories of this when I first started playing FS19 without seasons because seasons were scary and complicated um i used that weeder a heck of a lot because um it was i think the biggest base game weeder and so yeah i, uh, I used that an awful lot on my first farm on whatever the american map was base game american map was in fs19 um good times i never realized at that point how hooked i would get on playing this game um, yeah, it was when I first started learning about, I think I, uh, I didn't know anything about auto drive, but I had found course play. So I was, I think using, I think I was using course play too. I think I was using course play and I'd found follow me as well to, uh, to move things between, uh, if you, do you remember where the starter farm was on that map? It was in this kind of little valley and I'd bought some of the fields at the top. And so I was using course play to get vehicles between the two. I'm sure it was course play I was using, not auto drive. Um, I'm hoping auto drive. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how things have changed, I guess. 
we've, we've got stuck we've got stuck but we've only got um, small weeds so we can rip these out with the weeder it's quite I was uh, I was browsing Instagram this morning I'm not an Instagrammer but I do kind of I'd like to uh, scroll through it when you know drinking my coffee in the morning and that kind of thing and a, uh, an ad for what well, was an ad it was a post from Horst popped up and they were doing exactly this they were uh, they were harrow they were, they were harrowing spring barley I think to pull the weeds out so yeah kind of cool it means we don't have to apply any chemicals which is a bonus we obviously don't get the uh, which I, I don't get at all we don't get the environmental bonus for spraying chemicals on it you know because you, you know clearly spraying chemicals on is better than uh, just pulling the little buggers out well, I don't know almost like it's partly an ad for John Deere it won't say that okay this this week is going to be well for me this week is a bit weird I have attempted to get all the videos made it depends how today goes so I'm not doing my usual Monday recording marathon in a hotel this week um, I'm actually working at home on Monday so I'm recording this before work on Monday but I do have um, basically the entire middle of the week I am busy with work stuff so I kind of have today and then Friday so there may or may not be as many videos I know I say this quite often and then I end up getting them all done and that's cool if I do but I might not so I, uh, I spent most of Sunday playing farm sim there are worse ways to spend a Sunday let's agree and uh I got a whole load of gameplay recorded. I got some edited. Um, so we'll see how we get on. I am, for a change as well, I am incredibly tired. So uh, this goes shouted out at, or oh, I think it was about three in the morning. Um, he just needed to go out in the garden, but kind of jumped out of bed, went downstairs to check on him. He was okay. He just needed to go out in the garden, but yeah didn't really get back to sleep after that and so I think I've had about four hours sleep today so yeah I am not at my brightest and sparkliest we'll see how the day goes I've it's yes yeah, before work I've already had monster I've already had coffee and neither of them have really dug my brain out of the fog that it's in I've also had painkillers because of lack of sleep means things hurt um, I kind of fell asleep in the armchair after I'd let the dog out and so my uh, my old man body is feeling a bit battered I, I'd have a I'm sure I've mentioned this I must have I had a car accident years ago many many years ago that kind of screwed my neck up and so the muscles are quite sensitive and sleeping in the chair uh, for help sleeping with the wrong pillow makes my neck bad so falling asleep in the armchair has not been great for how my body feels today but I guess it's better than having less sleep um, yeah I don't know so I'm feeling very actually that reminds me of something else that I saw it might have been it was a meme on it was on Facebook or Instagram or whatever I spend far too much time scrolling through those sites and uh, it was like the human body can grow an entire human with organs and brain and everything in nine months. Can't fix my dodgy whatever, you know, in my case his neck. Yeah. And partly the reason that that's so bad is the uh, the way that it was treated when it was injured is I went to went to like my GP at the time and they gave me a sheet of paper which said to do these exercises. Um, which was basically move your head about a bit I don't have any physio or anything like that and uh, I think that's partly why it's a bit screwed I have had physio on it since because sometimes it is incredibly painful and it always really helped but I think at this point it's not something that's going to get better because the accident was ooh, 22 years ago now Oh no, I've been dealing with it pretty much ever since. So it's one of the things that can give me a cracking headache if my neck gets really bad, the kind of the tension builds up in my head and my shoulders and stuff. And 
Yeah, that can make my head really bad. Anywho, we are almost done with the weeding, so that's kind of cool. We are then going to move on to mowing or starting to mow the mega field. I'm not going to tackle all of it in this video because it is a mega job, mega field. Okay. I am mowing that early, so ideally I would have waited until May to get maximum grass yield as well. But I really don't think we need that. We have a lot of grass silage still and you know, we're not far off of our first cut of grass silage for the year. So we have um, a couple hundred bales still. We have a clamp with, I think, half a million liters in it. So I think we're good for grass silage. I'm less confident about maize silage. I might need to tweak the feeding a bit and go heavier on the grass, I think. But yes, yeah, so I'm not too worried about maximizing the yield of of off of the grass cut off of that I'm actually only going to mow the field I'm not going to mow the side bit which I've been doing in the past because the trees have grown and it are just going to be more of a pain to do so yeah I'm actually contemplating that we might be able to sell grass silage at some point I know yeah so we're up at the store um we are going to buy one thing which I don't think I've ever I have brought these in the past in FS19. We are going to buy ourselves a big M because we've got the money in the bank. Um, so, yep, we're going to buy ourselves a chrome big M. We have lots of grass work to do, so I think that is a sound investment. Um, I'm going to lease a new baler. Um, thanks to Mark Thor for this. Um, he's done this for a bunch of different creators. Um, it's the quick bale or actually fast bale. So... Yep, we're going to lease one of these just for kind of this bit of work that we need to do. Um, it's got lots of cool color options as well. The really nice thing as well is it can wrap 180 centimeter bales, which is going to be nice. Yeah, I don't know if this is available anywhere, obviously without all the logos. Um, might be on Mark's Discord, I'm not sure. But we're going to lease it. Um, I'm, I'm going to go back to using the other balers that we've got. Yeah, I, I generally kind of like using square bales. So we're going to go back to that. And we're also going to lease ourselves an Anderson bale stacker. Because I want to try and automate the bale collection and storage. You will have seen from the thumbnail that I put in. Or I will be putting in a couple of the new bale storage buildings down by the, uh, the chickens and uh, I thought I'm pretty sure I watched Argy do this in preview weekend so I thought it would be fun to give it a go and one of the the time consuming bits of working on the mega field is collecting all the bales that we made I don't know if you remember the uh, the picture from when I cut this at the end of last year and just how many bales there were now I was making 125 centimeter bales then because I was using an, an edited version of the fast bale going up to 180 centimeter bales is obviously going to improve things in terms of how many we get which is good and we're also going to put them in bale store so hopefully that'll just make things easier I could do with moving a whole load of them up to the main farm and it may do that at some point then my, the uh the problem that i have on here it's not really a problem is the two junctions that come out of the wildlife area are really tight for um getting auto drive to go around the corner so i've not really used auto drive to move stuff so at some point i'll just have to spend the time moving all of these bales up to the um the main farm but for now, I'm just going to move them. So I want to clear this area off so that we can mow this bit as well. Um, so I'm just going to put in now one because I do not, did not appreciate just how many bales were there still. Um, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put it. I do end up putting it there eventually when I stop faffing. Um, I've got to say, adding these bale stores is such a cool thing from Giants and the fact that and I don't think it's just giants have coded it well maybe I don't know if it's if it's other things but the fact that they work 
with, and I, I've not tested them with other mods bales, but they work with all of the Maze Plus bales. And the fact that they take bales in and ferment them is really cool. Um, I don't know, because I don't play on console, and yeah, I don't, I don't play on console. I don't know if the stored bales go towards your bale limit or not. Um, I guess that would be interesting if they don't. It's kind of annoying that I can't paint the texture that I want inside. Um, I, I kind of like this lighter concrete. It's actually concrete. Um, I guess the other one is asphalt, maybe. I'm not sure, but yeah. Put one in for now. We're going to start moving some bales. I am only going to show you a bit of that because it did take me quite a while to get all the bales stored. Um, I switched to the we've got the, the flatbed trailer there and I've got Universal Auto Load and I did switch to that and I'm actually not sure if it was any quicker or not because it was a bit of a faff getting them in to the shed whereas using this to get them in the shed is much quicker I am wondering now if I could have got course play to do it I'm not sure how it would have coped with these huge stacks of bales versus um bales spread around the field that might have been interesting to see if course play and auto drive could have done this job for me um, but i did it and it's done which is cool it's nice to uh get these bales sorted i say so i do need to start moving them up to the main farm so we can feed them although if we're going to get another batch of silage bales we might not need to and we might be able to feed them into the bga and make more money because at this point we're just trying to maximize how much cash we can make yeah so i put a second one in we've got 221 square bales stored and we've got 189 round bales stored. So we don't have much more space um, to put in extras, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So my plan is to mow the little area in front of this and get that done. I'm just gonna do a bit of auto drive set up to see if we can set it up to auto tip. I did pick up some really at least one little really cool tip, I guess. We're, we're saying tip a lot uh, from Argzy on reversing courses. And I'll get to it, I'll, I'll show you it when, when we get to it. Um, assuming that I actually, yeah, I, so I had to delete a bunch of the old auto drive network that I had down here. It, 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 it's, it's kind of how I do auto drive when I'm not using it a lot. And so I've got separate little bits of courses and stuff. And I had one that went through where the sheds were. So I've just deleted that. Um, yeah, I don't have an actual auto drive network set up on here. I just have bits joined together for the jobs that I use them for. So these loops are from when we did the maze harvest on here because I had auto drive doing the carting. But what we're going to do is set up a little reverse course off of this loop uh, into the round bale shed because that's got you know it's got space for 60 odd bales i think so maybe 61 i think it was so just going to get ourselves a nice little reversing course recorded and then we'll worry about making some tweaks to it and setting the waypoint. Do not try and set the waypoint as you're doing the reversing because your waypoint marker will not be the last point that you've just made when you're reversing. I, I did see as well that the auto drive creators have improved some of the stuff to do with reversing and uh, driving out of a reversed course. So that's kind of nice. So if we just hook that up to that loop, we'll then disconnect the Anderson and go and finish things off. So we need to mark the waypoint that we want. So there we go. I'm just gonna name that. And then I'm going to make a little tweak to the, the reversing waypoints. So, 
back up a bit and the tip that Argsy had in his video for the Goville DLC was to move that first reversing waypoint so that it's close to the last forwards one and apparently that stops auto drive going into reverse early which can be an issue because if it starts to reverse too early it may not have had time to straighten the trailer up though the reason I'm te teaching you guys you know how stuff you know I'm not really teaching I'm explaining now, the reason that you pull forward so far is so that you get the trailer nice and straight so, so when it goes into reversing it's easier and I have noticed this I know it was a problem I had on Maypole when I was trying to do the reversing courses on there is that auto drive would start reversing early and the trailer wouldn't be straight so yeah I've just set the quick bail on to follow me with 180 centimeter bales we're going to put the big M on to swathing and we're just going to mow this little patch first I'm I'm half tempted to do something with this bit of land um, we don't need it as grass or field space and could join it into the field um, curious as to what you think about that idea should we just kind of push the edge of the field out a little bit I don't think we can quite straighten it off or I might just concrete it and start putting more buildings down here we're going to need more bale storage down here um yeah so that's that's kind of what i'm pondering is uh do i just concrete over this bit now because we, we really don't need the extra grass off of it kind of worrying i did speak about in the last video that we're down to one clamp of may signage and it's only april so I think we're probably about, we might be okay. We're about halfway through the kind of, from when we harvested to when we'll harvest again. But we do have more cows now. So, because I, when I first started with Maze Plus, we only had 160 cows and we're now at 240. So yeah, I think I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to change the, I think I need to change the, the balance of maize silage to grass silage. I was doing, so my, my TMR at the moment on here is typically something like 40% grass silage, 40% maize silage, and about 10 to 15% hay, and the other the remainder potatoes. And I'm thinking that we might need to go more like 60% um, grass silage, 20% maize silage, and then the other 20% is the kind of extra bits. Um, because we have a lot of grass silage still. Okay, we still have an in. Big, I don't remember when I cut that clamp. It might have even been first cut on last year. Um, but we have a clamp full of grass silage that I have not opened at all. So I think maybe we'll have a look at that. What I might do just to make my life easier is take that grass silage out of the clamp and put it into one of the fermenting silos to store kind of like I've been doing with the maize. Then I can just mix TMR sat under one of those. It'll have grass silage and maize silage in it, which is most of my TMR. I think that probably is a sensible idea. I might do that before I move the bales, because what I'm thinking is that we've obviously got all of the grass fields up at the main farm now. We've got all grass fields this year. We might get enough off of that that we can sell a whole load of the signage bales that we have down here through the BGA. I think we're going to have an excess of... So the original plan, way back when, way, way back when, was that the most of the, the May signage was going, was going to go through the BGA. But with, the, with how much cows eat with May's Plus, we haven't been able to do that. But I think we do have excess grass silage, so I'm contemplating putting some of that through the BGA. I also think I might need to do, as well as doing silage when I do first cut, doing some hay because we don't have as much hay and we have a lot of sheep and I'm feeding hay to the cows. 
just going to pick these bars up manually. Um, the other thing that I'm still pondering, I don't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, was selling off the beef and opening up that field to be grazing for the dairy cows. I don't think the beef are going to significantly change the uh, the outcome of this farm and I'm not doing anything with them we're just leaving them in the field to graze so yeah I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I might sell those off and just turn that whole field plus the field behind the cow shed into a big pasture for dairy cows um, that will help to some extent with the insane amount of feeding that I have to do and yeah something that I'm pondering so we've got the the Deutz on auto drive now linked to course play to do bale collecting did have to make later on a slight tweak um, the the point that auto drive is using is not in the field and that means that when course play takes over it can't detect the bales so I did have to move that point across so that it's in the field so yeah, let's just change how to make later. It looks like auto drive is going to go and tip those first few bales. Clearly he wants to start the job with an empty bale stacker. And it's kind of nice just to get a little test to see if that works or not while we're not, you know, while we've not got deep into it. Um, and obviously making 180 centimeter bales means there will be a lot or less bales than when I was doing the 125 centimeter bales. So just keep an eye on the Deutz, see how that goes. It looks like it should be okay, maybe, please. Yeah, that's working, awesome. So as long as it can get itself out of here now, we will be good and hopefully that means that at the end, I won't have the massive bale collecting job that I had last time. I've actually this weekend got much more into using auto drive for stuff. Um, and I'll talk about some of that on another video later in the week if I actually get it. Edited. Well, eventually it will be done. Um, it's one that I recorded but didn't get edited. It's a Maple video. It's not, it's, yeah, not being any sort of super secretive, super cool video. It's a Maple video. It's really nice actually. I just played a lot of farm sim this weekend. No, I, I, I did I did try and work out the um, the simplified animal food additions that I've spoken about and uh, got it all pretty much working. But the um, the dairy cows weren't quite behaving as I expected. Um, so I uh, see you can see it there. The, uh, the worker can't find any bales, although there are bales, and it's because it's not quite in the field. Um, so, yeah, ended up end up having to move that. But it'll be okay. It'll be effective. It was okay. Yeah, so I, I, uh, I set it up for pretty much everything. Pretty much everything works. I'm just not getting the amount of milk that I expect out of the cows. So I, uh, I need to have a look at that. Um, I've made... The cows are probably one of the ones that have changed the most. Um, I the uh, the animal food edition that I put together will switch them from the the four bars of Mates Plus back to the cereal feeding of um, base game, so you can still you can still mix Mates Plus TMR. Um, you know, so you can still do your realistic TMR and all that kind of thing. But there's just a bar now for TMR. There's a bar for hay and silage, and then there's a bar for grass. Um, so a lot like it was, it is in base game, but you've got the the benefit of the different types of silage and stuff from Maze Plus. Um, and I've put the the feeding and the milk halfway between. Uh, pretty much, uh, well, basically, I've halved the amount of food that they eat and the amount of milk they produce just so it's slightly more manageable um, I know some people did feel that um, some bits of maize plus they didn't like so this kind of backs some of that out um, 
I might do a few, but if I once I get this working as I expect, I might do a couple of versions if there's interest. Um, because I know some people don't like doing the actual editing themselves, but they don't want things as they are. So yeah. But let's say I, I did a bunch of it on Saturday, I think it was Saturday afternoon, and I just couldn't quite get it to work as I wanted. So needed to tackle that again at some point. Yeah, I, I didn't actually do very much playing on Saturday because uh, it's kind of tight. For me. That's what happens when you run a lot. Um, so a little bit of showing course play in action. I was. 90% impressed with how well course play did. You will see later on that things get more complicated. Um, so the, the the Deutz on its own at this point is struggling to keep up with the bailing. And I didn't want to end up in a situation where I had a whole load of bales at the end. So, um, and I really like JCB tractors and the um, Icon fast pack track released a little while ago. So we're going to lease one of those because I, 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 I did think about buying it, but we have enough tractors. I also thought about selling the T7, but it has uses on the farm. So we're just going to lease one for now. Um, I, I wanted it in, I didn't quite get the right silver, I don't think. Um, I wanted it in the uh, one of the anniversary color configurations. I think that's more gray than silver, um, but I think it looks quite cool. I think it looks quite cool. Uh, I do love me fast track. Um, if if there was an old fast track that was of a good quality and reputable source, it would be on Maple straight away. Um, I know there's one on King Mods. All the comments say it has issues and the modder paywalls versions of it behind Patreon. So no, thank you very much. Um, and I think it's I think it's a convert of someone else's from FS19 as well. I don't think he made it all. So I may be wrong, but it's not a version that I'm happy using. So I wait patiently. I would love the uh, the old JCB fast track. It's, on when I did my Sandy Bay Let's Play, that tractor was a game changer for me because it was great for getting around the map. Um, yeah, it was just so good. I loved that tractor so much. Um, now we do end up with some slight issues with, like, say, ninety percent of the time, these two tractors running on course play, collecting bales, worked perfectly. 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time, they were chasing the same bale quite often. So one, they would be following each other and one would pick the bale up. And because it would slow down to pick the bale up or stop like that, the other tractor would go piling into the back of it and crash. Um, and so eventually, once, once they'd caught up, because they did catch up, I stopped one of them and I'd have one running at a time. Uh, that worked quite well. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. It's uh, it saved me a whole bunch of work that I had to do last time, which is really good. And I think at this point the bale stores are also quite full. So what I ended up doing on here is running until the bale stores are full, and both bale collectors are pretty much full. Um, not quite full, so you can see they just cost like that. And yeah, there you go. Um, both bale sheds are full. Bale collectors pretty much full. Um, probably next time I might leave some of this running in the background while we do other things. I'm not sure, but I will say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button and comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. And I will see you next time on Greenlands.